Hi, it's Jess here from nigest.co.uk. Thank you for joining me today. And I am bringing you a card here um, where I'm using some leftovers from a previous card. So it's a card you've not seen yet, but when making the card, I end up with two bits like this. And I've, in the card, I've used the frame that I've cut out. And I did it deliberately on a piece of cardstock that was the size of a card blank so that I could use this for a matting blank. And so this is the card I've come up with. So I'm going to show you how I made this, but I'm doing it today in uh, lower line twist. So, oh, that's not quite cut. Look at that for prepping. I didn't check. I'll oh, redo that. There we are, all sorted now. I just run it back through just the bottom bit to cut off. What you sometimes find with this big one is if you go that way or that way, so it's straight on, it doesn't quite cut them. And so it sometimes you just need to do it sort of diagonally to get your, to get your cut. Um, I often find that with um, straight edge ones. So, uh, so I've got a piece of extra thick whisper white uh, cut in half scored in half. Um, I've got my stitched framelits there and yes they're designed for American card bases but I do actually think they're quite nice, I quite like it. And then I've cut uh, a stitched frame in our um, gingham paper and I'm sort of sticking them so that they're not quite, I've not gone etc. I've deliberately done it so that it's off. And then that's the the wastage from the other one. So they're all going to get stuck on like that at sort of joint, jaunty angles. And these are the free frames that I used. Now I have, the first post I ever did with these, I numbered them. So I will number them on the uh, on the blog post, nigesa.co.uk. So let's just quickly stick these ones down. Might speed this up. So that's the fun bit. Oh well, not the fun bit. The fun bit's now now come in. I've just noticed I have got a little bit of an error there, but hey ho, it's a handmade card. Um, so I'm using the uh, very vases punch, which which is here. See, it doesn't pay to put it away. Um, so then I've got the little scrap that um, I had from cutting out. The, um, the square and I'm just going to feed it up there and get those two vases there. You do get a nice little gingham tulip as well, but I don't really want that. And I am using to make these flowers the Itty Bitty flower set, um, which I didn't buy initially because uh, I just couldn't quite see in the catalogue what they were like and then I saw my mate Jill from Paper Daisy Crafting did a beautiful card and it was like oh actually I like that if I bring it up a little bit closer you can see you've got a flower like that a flower like that a flower like that and then you got this one, which has got like a leaf in the middle of a flower. And uh, that's how I created these flowers here. So I've got the three different styles of flower. And then we've got some leaves and then we've got some, some centres. Those are actually sequins and those are the little circles cut with this one. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I did all of that. So I've got a scrap of Whisper White. And I just cut two of each. Um, good way using up icky bicky little scraps, which I never throw away, and uh, perfect for these little 
little mates here. So there they all are. Don't need those bits. And I want some of this colour. <laughs> I can't remember. It's lemon lime twist. And I just want some circles for the centre. So I did three like that and then I used three of our our sequins. So we've got sequins. Um, they come in a cardboard packet which you don't find very user friendly so I take them out and I put them in this. So we've got these stick on sequins that go with the gingham gala so I used three of those on the centre of the flowers and to give the flowers some shape. I've got a bit. Of, I've got foam mat mat here, and just dig it in with the end of this. You can do it in your hand as well if you want to, but they work really well on this, and then. I'm going to put a blob of Tombow in the centre of three, making sure I've got three different designs. And then I'm going to stick these circles. This is when you need pair of tweezers. I forgot I had. I was looking for these the other day, but I know I've got a pair of tweezers. My sister bought me them, and they actually have a light, and my light doesn't appear to work anymore. Yeah, I've got some spare batteries. Stick them in the middle in place. I did then take this again, kind of hold it in place. I'm still trying to pick it up on the ends. Yeah, like that. There we go. I like these self adhesive sequins. I wouldn't actually use normal sequins because it's just too much hassle for my fingers. And then on the the ones that are just cardstock, we just put a bit of Winker Stella on, give them a little bit of bling. So that is a way of doing it if you haven't got the sequins, but I think it's quite nice that you've got the two different um, designs there. So there we are. And the leaves. I wanted to give them a little bit of life. So I sort of curled them a little bit as well so that they would stand up. A little bit when they go on okay right and then we need a little bit of stamping and I've used the thanks from the varied vases uh, the little thanks there because uh, these cards might end up being my customer thank yous uh, for people that shopped with me in January I don't know why I'm moving that. It was perfectly all right. Well, it wasn't quite straight, but it didn't actually matter. Uh, so I'm putting the thanks. I don't know why I'm using Highland Heather because, do you know, if I had brains, I'd be dangerous. Let me mind twist, please. Yes. I was going to do the demonstration in Highland Heather, but... I decided at last minute to change and I didn't change everything. So, two sides of cardstock for a reason.
there we go got there in the end and then the everyday label punch to punch it out there it is which was staring me in the face and I'm doing it so the thanks is at the end because it's going to go behind the bars there we go so that is going to stick on there We're getting a bit cluttered here aren't we it's a bit like my desk when I'm working it's what it's normally like so a bit of Tombow stick this in place along there and stick this vase down Quite straight. Yep, moved it down. That one there, and then I'm going to put a dimensional on the back of this one. Uh, yeah, then we get a dimensional, and I'm doing that with the smaller one, and then I did just cut a bit. Off the end here to go to give the neck of the vase a bit of a bit of strength. Oh, just can't get it off. stick next to it like so and then I just randomly stuck the flowers on so I got me a little bit of plastic here which I'm gonna plodge a bit of Tombow on and I'm gonna use tweezers you could use glue dots And I just stuck them around. On there. And then I got a marker. Oh, my voice went a little bit there. So then I got a marker. I did this one with the um, brush end. I'm not, and I'm, I'm not going to do the brush end with this one. So then I just drew in some stems. Like so. And then I did get I'll let that dry a little bit. I've got a bit of Wing Castella and I did go over the stems a tad to give them a little bit of sparkle. Like and then took the leaves, I dipped one end in and I've added leaves to the flowers. And that and that's it. Love these little flowers. They are so cute. So there we have it. Two different looks with the same design. Hope you like it. All the details will be on my blog, nigeza.co.uk. And if you'd like to purchase anything, 
used in the making of this card you can see my shop links um, down below and also if you go over to my blog they're there as well and there'll be direct links to each item that I've used in the making of this card. Okay see you again soon. Bye bye.